Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to All Things Division Three Soccer. Uh, really do appreciate it. Super excited for this new show, episode, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is something special for the 2024 men's D3 season. And it's a weekly pool of games. And they're not my games. This is all the great child of a D3 board poster extraordinaire named EJ. <laughs> um, and he's been running this pool on the D3 boards for, I think, a couple years now. Um, but anyhow, here we have Eric, also known as EJ. Eric, hey, thanks for doing this. Really do appreciate, really do appreciate it. Hey, awesome. I'm glad to be here. Uh, thanks for having me. This is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, absolutely. Hey, maybe maybe we could just start with the basics about your pool. Uh, for those who don't know, maybe you could maybe, you know, just talk about your experience in the game and then just go into the pool. What's the pool? What are the rules? Uh, yeah. The breakdown. And then we'll just talk about the games later. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. So, um, you know, been on the message board, D3 message boards for probably about six years now. Um, was a D3 player myself, my, you know, my son played D3. Um, so it's always just been something that's of interest to me and, uh, contributed a little bit here and there, you know, not, the not the all American status of, of some posters. Um, but it's been, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun and I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. And about two years ago, uh, I thought everybody's talking about what games are, are going on, what games are of interest each week. And I thought, well, what if we just put a pool together? and see how we do it at picking winners. Um, and it, we started late, you know, halfway through yeah. the season, the first year, and uh, got a good response. There's about 20 people participating on a regular basis. And then uh, the following year, we, we, we did it again. I put it out there early and said, hey, I'm gonna do this again if anybody's interested. And we got, you know, sometimes 30, 35 people uh, participating on a weekly basis. Some people come in and out, but there's a lot of people who, who clearly look forward to it. Um, and then, uh, you know, I put it out there again for this year, the third year, and said, hey, let's, let's, let's do this again. And if there's interest, we'll, uh, you know, I'll keep running. It's easy enough for me to put together. Uh, let me rephrase that. Technically, it's easy enough to put together. Um, <laughs> picking the games might not be so easy. You know, you try and pick games of interest, games that people have, uh, you know, teams that, that are popular, teams that people follow, uh, you know, matchups that are of interest, games that, that might, you know, have implications for conference tournaments or, uh, trap games or, uh, you know, new coaches or, you know, new things. And, and it gives you, gives me something to look forward to as to, okay, who do I want to pay attention to? And, uh, and that's, and that's what I've done. Very good. Yeah. Well, I, I have to say it is, it is entertaining. I, I will say, uh, if you're talking about success at picking games, I am the <laughs> last person you need to speak with. Um, but I also think it's rigged against me for some reason. That's my. I try, you know, I try, I try. And if I can, when I'm going through, I'm like, okay, who's Mount Union playing? I got to put them in there. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So this is the first week. This is the opening season pool. So week we'll one. talk about how to register and whatnot. So why don't you jump straight into the games that you've selected for this opening season because there are some as i like to say hump dingers in it's, there it's a it's a brutal opening weekend for a lot of teams yeah. um i picked 10 games i probably could have picked you know another 10 easily that that, that are interesting matchups um so yeah let's get into the my first matchup that i picked i picked uh stevenson at denison i'm not sorry stevenson stevens at denison um sure. i think that's an interesting matchup uh, both were tournament teams last year uh, Stevens is making the trip out to Denison. They're actually playing Denison and then Owu uh, yeah. two days later. So they're yeah. Let's start easy. Yeah, let's yeah, start. exactly. <laughs> let's just let's just go at it, right? Um, so it, you know, there's a and I think Denison. I'm I'm a big fan of them. I think they've got a lot of potential. Yeah. Love their yeah. coach and uh, and I think they're they're going to work their way up to the you know the elite of uh, of their conference there. Yeah. Um, so this is certainly a good test for both teams early. Yeah, yeah. So I, I recently did my preseason top 25 and I didn't include either team. And I actually heard from some people, um, <laughs> that they should have been included, but I am very high on this team. They were definitely two teams that I think are, are 
can be top 20 teams easily. I'm a big fan of how Stevens plays. Um, and like you, I think Coach Bianco at Denison is building a program that I think, yeah. you know, I, I, I think his, his, his eyesight is on a national championship. And I think he has the capacity as a coach and the school has the capacity of bringing the players, which yes. is equally important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is a, I mean, way to start this out. And I have no idea who wins this one. I, I, I mean, I think I, I've got two games where I'm confident who I'm going to pick and everybody else. It's probably a toss up. Yeah. 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 All right. Who's next? Next one. This is a um, good one. Messiah at Scranton. Mm. Um, <laughs> Messiah. I mean, I, Messiah is going to win the game. I, I think um, the interest in, in this one for me is I'm always interested to see what Messiah is bringing. You know, they're going to be good, but the question is how good are they going to be? And I think this is a, a, a good test for them. Um, I'm not sure that it's the, the best litmus test for them, but it's it's a good test for them. And Scranton's got a new coach, so they're going to be interesting to watch as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, Andy Lang Lognan, I can't pronounce his name. I'm terrible at names. Um, <laughs> formerly at Misericordia, I think yeah. he does have some big shoes to fill. Um, uh, but I do think it's going to be interesting to see how uh, the, the team reacts with a new coach and if they change – how they play or what's, or if there's going to be some growing pains, but you know, I've had Messiah literally ranked number one for two it, years. Yeah. Two, two years easily it, without, without, and I could defend that. I even got shtick because I ranked them higher than at one point. Um, what is it? I kept Williams down like, and I got shtick for that. Right. And Oh, how can they be number one? Anyhow, um, but I was surprised last year when they lost to Ohio Northern, how dependent they had become on Matt McDonald. So I'm, I am very interested to see what they bring. They, they've got a great returning midfield. Um, so I think, you know, again, it's Messiah. They're, they're going to, you know, they don't rebuild, they, they reload. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I have a feeling they're going to be just fine, but yeah, it's, it, this is a team that's, always a top five team yet they haven't won a title in what yeah. six seven years or something like yeah. that yeah they they go through you know it's interesting they never stumble in the season you ever and and that could just be their who they compete with they they win some gr outrageous games against things you're like teams you're thinking oh this is going to be a little bit closer but then they get to the tournament and they stub their toe somehow and you're just kind of like yeah they got to get beyond that yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be fun to watch. You know, Masai's yeah. always oh, a, Masai's a yeah. fun team to watch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, without a doubt, without yeah. a doubt. I actually thought when I saw that game, I actually thought if I can swing it, maybe I drive to Scran to watch it in person. That would be it's that a nice be facility. Fun. They've got a nice yeah. facility up there. Yeah, I don't know if you've yeah. been to Scranton recently. They, I, I have know, not, a whole, a whole, have, whole yeah. sport complex they built. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, who's who's up? Game three. Washington College at Lebanon Valley. That is uh, that's, <laughs> that's a brutal crazy. matchup. I have no idea. No I you idea. know I Washington College has been like the darling of the Centennial for the last couple yeah. of years. You know, and they had a, obviously a great run last year. Yeah. Um, they've had a couple strong years. Um, Lebanon flies under the radar. I don't think yeah. people really know about them or even where they are or anything yeah. like that. But they're a good team, and they have been a good yeah. team. And and they're loaded. Yeah. They're loaded with talent this year. A beautiful um, field too. Beautiful it's field. oh a beautiful grass field. Yeah, yeah. And that's and that's you know, I think I might be leaning towards uh L V C simply because of yeah. the grass. You know, Washington plays on turf and, turf, and yeah. Lebanon plays on grass. It's a home game for them. Uh, I am I'm a big fan of Coach Dunchy at Washington and I, and he's really made that program. I, I sometimes wonder do they have the year in, year out capacity they sort of took a dip they had the one run had the dip the next year and then they did really well last yeah. year i'm wondering if they could keep that going but um and then lvc I, it, it's funny because i did a fields of dreams from there and i don't know what i had in my mind of a school 
right? Like it just sort of again, I'm like, oh, who are these people and who right, is this right. place? What is this place? And it's a it is the, a the field's diamond beautiful. of a school. It, it, this field is incredible. Yeah. So um yeah, I, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't they, know. I, say, I, I say this is a, this is another good matchup. Um yeah. it'll be interesting to see what comes of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, number four. Four, Rochester at Cortland. <laughs> yeah. I, so, you know, it, Cortland is, they, what, they finished last year ranked like 13th or something like that. I mean, yeah, they're, they're a perennial, you know, strong top yeah. 20 type team. And the last three years, they've opened against Rochester. And the last three years, they lost to Rochester. Wow. By a combined nothing. Yeah. yeah, by a combined score of eight to two. Yeah. Right. I they mean lost they've got four or nothing last year. They got pounded. Yeah. yeah. And this is a team that finished uh, yeah. right outside the top ten. I mean, they, they only lose three games a year. Yeah. Um, but it seems to be Rochester. So uh yeah, this is this is gonna be interesting, I think. Yeah. I think um I, I've said all along in the last few years, I've said I think Cortland is one of two public institutions that can win a national championship. And because uh, I and and I think they generally coach Axtell there generally reloads and yeah. manages to find these guys where you're like, man, where have you been? He's just so these so good. And then I will say for Rochester, which they always to me fly under a little bit under the radar, is because they play in the UAA, and right. so they just I mean that is just this gauntlet of games. You know, they had six ties last year, but if, if they put it together, this is a team that can, could go far. And I think the, this game is another one where it's like, well, this is a test. To me. They're a very good team. I mean, nobody looks at them on the schedule and says, oh, that's a win. win. You know, that's yeah, yeah. that's not a team that you that you look forward to playing. I mean, you do for the challenge, but, yeah. you know, that, that's yeah. going to be a good matchup, I think. Yeah. All right. Next Number one. Five. Number five. Number <laughs> five. Piece of cake. This is a no-brainer. Bra- no Hopkins at, at Washington <laughs> Lee. Come oh, on. Gosh. Come, Come on. on, who starts off like that? I don't, you know. <laughs> Only I don't even. I don't even people. know what to say. I mean, I think the names yeah. speak for themselves. It's Hopkins. Yeah. It's Washington. I'm like, yeah. I mean, what? Yeah. Who's going to win that game? Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I think this could be a. I, I think this. If Hopkins wins it, it's a statement. I think right, like it becomes a statement for them. I I, I think the interesting thing for me about Washington and Lee is you know, uh, new coach Lamumba right. Shabazz, who's taking over the, a top five program. And so I'm always curious to see how that impacts how they play or what what's going to happen. So I, I, I think this is definitely for multiple reasons, just a really, really interesting matchup just to see where the two fall. Right? Yeah, like that's, where... a, that's exactly what it is, is how, what do they have this year? Yeah, what is it going to be? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That's that's a that's a brutal game. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I I think this might be the game I will definitely be tuning into. I yeah. guess that's that, that's that to me is going to be and, and by nature of how they play that ball's going to be on the deck, right? Like it's right. just going to it's just going to be really good. Really really good. All right, 6. 6. Kenyon <laughs> opens at John Carroll again. Yeah. So so I was looking into this one, I, and I, I wrote down this stat because I couldn't believe it. So Kenya never loses more than two or three games a year. Right? Easily, yeah. I mean, that's it. Like a bad yeah. year is like four losses, Yeah. right? It's two or three losses, and that's it. And in the last 11 years, they're three and eight against John Carroll. John Carroll's got their number. Yeah. I mean, they, they do. They beat him last year for nothing. Kenyon doesn't lose for nothing. Yeah, yeah. And they're they're going to be at John Carroll. At John Carroll. On the turf. Yeah. Which Kenyon plays on an immaculate grass field. So I don't know that that might have that I mean have it. this is this is a Kenyon's a, a you know a top 10 team that has based on history has the potential to lose yeah. for nothing. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R- really? Yeah. You know. It it's almost I always say like their attitude is, look, if we're going to go down, we're going to go down our way. And even if we lose for nothing, we're still going to go down our way. Right. Like, yeah, I think that's 
I think teams, a lot of teams don't react that way, but I think it's almost like in their DNA, like, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep, and they open themselves up. I, I do think if Kenyon gets a win or, or draw, or, you know, if they can get a result out of this, um, I think that'll say a lot about what they're, what yes. they're going to look like. Yes. I do agree. I think this is more, a, for me, I think this is a more of a Kenyan game yes. than it is a John Carroll game. And I sim- I don't say that to minimize how important it is for John Carroll, but I have I am I have a lot I have a s- more confident sense as to what John Carroll's going to bring over the course of the season, and I think they're going to be very good. I think they're the team to I, I think they're the team to beat in the OAC, even though Ohio Northern is, I think, picked and they are very, very good. Right, right. Um, um so, but Kenyon is still a question mark for me. And Travis Wall, has he gotten over that first year hump of trying to figure things out? And so it's gonna be one heck of a battle in Ohio. I, I'd yeah. love to be there too. That's another game this so it's another great game. All right, next up. Oh, here's here's another easy one. <laughs> Wait, like, yeah, I keep like easy one. I keep easy. waiting. Like the this easy is the one. Easy. This is the this is the, I, I put one easy game in. This this is it. This is it. Saint Olaf at Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah. Defending national champion goes to Chicago. Yeah. Because that's what they do. Because, because that's how you st- <laughs> that's, how, that's how you start that's how you start the run for the second year. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. they're going to come away. I, I, this is, I think, four or five nothing game to hold off. I mean, no question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. No. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I, this is this is going to be a great game. Um, yeah. You know, obviously, Saint Olaf not resting on their laurels. They're going. They're yeah. going right back at it. Right back. Right back into the fire. Yeah, and. Uh, and this is going to be a nice matchup. I think this is this is one of those where it's like I'm curious for both teams now, right? Like, yeah, can St. Olaf, knowing that they've lost two of their best players ever um, to they transferred to Division One, so can they keep that momentum going for the national championship? And look, I was I watched the first game Chicago played, and I wasn't sure that they had it as a repeat for the national championship. So I'm, I'm curious to see how they ha- do, are they back on the horse and are their intentions to compete again for a national championship? I, I think that's very, what this would be very telling. This is, this is a, yeah, I mean, this game has, I don't think it has any big impact on what's going to happen for the rest of the season. I think it's no. more of a, it's more of a story game. Yeah, okay, yeah. how 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 do we like? And granted, it's it's week one, and you know a lot of things can change from that point right. on. But um, y- you know, you want to you want to get off to a good a good start, at yeah. least have a good showing. You lose, Correct. so be it. But Correct. did we do the things we wanted to do? Correct. Are we able to play the way we want to play? Right. And uh, uh, I think both teams have to figure that out pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. I think this goes for that goes for all the teams so far that we've talked about, like. How yeah. is it that first game? To me, it's always about mood, tempo, like, ha- and are, ha- have you progressed to the point where you could come into a really difficult game and at least show well? If some of these guys don't show well, that's a bad omen, right? Yeah. A bad omen. Because yeah. they're such at an elite level. I think all the teams you picked at an elite level. So Yeah, I mean, these are, for all intents and purposes, these are all top 20 teams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they, they all have the potential to have very good years and make, and make mm-hmm. you know, a far run, um, you know, in a tournament. Yeah. yeah. Okay, a next yeah, up, easy one. Easy one, yeah, FNM Lynchburg. F and M travels to Lynchburg, so you you've got uh, F and M, which is you know again another team that loses maybe three games a year. Yeah. Um, you know, always strong. They're always going to compete, and you got Lynchburg, who is the ODAC defending champion. Um, again, I think that's another team where you know they're not always the best team, but they're not a team that you want to go down and play. Yeah, you know, that's a team that could they can beat you four or five nothing. Yeah, 
they can put up five goals on you especially and, and at surprise home. you, especially, especially at, home. at home. Yeah. yeah. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place to play. I don't yeah. know if you've seen that field. I've seen the, on the, I've watched the games. The I games just, are awesome on TV, right? Yeah. 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 But it's yeah. some of the best, I think. Uh, one of oh, the best. it's fantastic. And the field is beautiful. They got the, the, Beautiful dorms with balconies yeah. right on the field. Yeah, yeah. So you can get a great crowd there. You got yeah. a big uh, you know, seating area on the other side of the field. Yeah. It's a it's a great environment. It, yeah. It's going to be it's going to be loud. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a good game. Um, yeah. Just what FNM wants, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. you know what? Can I just say something? And I this is terrible and I'm, I might get some hate for it, which is fine. Whatever. But You're wearing the hat. Be careful. I am. I am. I'm. I'm a big fan of the school. It's a beautiful place. Um, but these are both. Both of these teams strike me as both teams that have the most potential to surprise in a season, right? Where they can, they can, they can beat the team that the 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 team that they're not expected to beat. They can, they can you know, even have the potential to go very far in the tournament. And yet I always feel like they come up short, both of them, both of them for their, for, for their, the quality of which they bring to the, to the game. And they just never seem to get beyond. Yeah. That. Yeah. I mean, well, Lynchburg was, I mean, was it probably 10 years ago at this point, Lynchburg made it to the final. Um, so they, you know, they've got a, history of doing well i mean not every year but but they have they have the potential to always have a very good season um yeah. and then you know f and m you know the 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 joke about f and m is what death taxes and f and m losing in the second round you know <laughs> that's been they've lost on the second round the last five yeah. years running yeah. Yeah. you know so uh you know i don't know yeah yeah i keep waiting for the breakout like you know again these are two teams that yeah. wait for the breakout like you know, it's good to reach, like I said, in F and M's case, second round. But I gotta believe at this point, losing in the second round is is a terrible season. You know, like right. Like, you know what I mean? Like anyone else will take that, but they've done it so often. Just kind of like, when are we going to deliver beyond that? And I think right. That's and real. and and when they do, is it okay? We finally did it, and then yeah. uh, I feel better, or is it okay? Now we're gonna go. Yeah, and, yeah, and do exactly. they make and do they make the run at that point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, you know, second round. It's like second round or final. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, another easy one. This is actually this is one. The easy I one. totally. I was total. I was. <laughs> I I was this, this one. I'm. I don't this, think it's easy. But go ahead. This, this is the easy. Well, this is the easy game to pick the winner. The score is going to be tough. So, um, oh, is that no? This is not that one. I'm sorry. I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Next one, yeah, Montclair at Babson. Yeah, that's not the easy one. The last one's easy one. Yeah, Mont- <laughs> <laughs> a little tease there for the, yeah, for the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Montclair at Babson. Um, yeah, I mean, Babson is another team I think that flies under the radar. They don't get the appreciation, the attention that they deserve. Yeah. Um, because of probably where they are and who else is in the area. Um, but they're an excellent team. Um, they're they're going to be excellent again. Um, they should have gone further in the tournament last year. They had a mm-hmm. devastating tournament game Turn against Hopkins. Hopkins yeah. They gave, they were up, they gave up two goals two in the goals. last, two goals lost, in the last two yeah. and a half minutes and lost to go to games. OT. And then, no, they didn't go to PKs. They lost in, in double. They gave up two oh, goals in right. over yeah, in like the time. final two that's minutes right. of overtime. That's to, right. Uh, that's right. To lose. I mean, th- th- that was unfortunate. But um, yeah, I mean, Babson's a great team, and you know they're hosting Montclair State. Montclair State, you know, they've got arguably the greatest Division three goal scorer ever. 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 Yeah. Well, I mean, what are what are Lukovic's sixty two goals in sixty one games? Yeah, it's he, remarkable. Um, I don't think he's going to be playing. It sounds like right ACL is yeah. what we're hearing. Yeah, um, which would be 
hugely unfortunate for him, but I mean, they, they do have what he's the national player of the year. They've got the mid, the end Jack midfielder of the year. Midfielder they've got the end Jack yeah. defender of the year. The year yeah. I mean, they've got a good team, a very yeah. good team. Um, yeah. And I think even without Lukovic playing, I think they're still a dangerous team. Yeah. I, the, the, you're, you're, the, I'm very interested in Montclair for that reason. Does Lukovic come back? Is he is he out? Is he not? Like I said, we it's rumored that that's what happened. And is he healthy enough or not? Does he not play? And what does that do for their goal scoring capacity? I do think that they are. This is another team that kind of reminds me of um, of F and M and Lynchburg, where they have this talent. And they can never break out of yeah. sort of their ceiling, right? And 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 I just shake my head. Last year, I thought, really, my prediction that one. This is the second <laughs> school public institution yeah. that I think can win a national championship. And I said last year, I thought was going to be it. And they, again, they come up short. But and then with Babson they are totally under my radar yeah. and I don't know why, because right. when I went back and I did, the, I was like, Holy smokes, these guys are not some throwaway team. And you know what? Can they go on another, uh, their, their season was pretty impressive last year. Yeah. And they got off to a slow start, but they, they yeah. finished strong and, yeah. and, um, and should have gone further. Yeah. You know, if not for some unfortunate, uh, yeah. Well, let, let's skip. Let's get give Hopkins some credit. Hopkins, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they did what they needed to do. Yeah. Um. Okay. So the last so, game, yeah, which you so said, it was easy. That score wise, I think is easy. But yeah, yeah. Go yeah ahead. Well, the this last game. So one. this this one is. I, I was amazed when I saw this on the schedule. So, at what is it? Aberrant? Is that yeah. how you pronounce it? Yeah. Aberrant in Virginia. Yeah. Right. They're an ODAC team. They're not a very successful ODAC team. They've they've had two winning seasons in the last twelve years. So they're, you know, yeah, yeah. Guess who they open up against? <laughs> a this is great. Slouch. This is great. Slouch this is great. Team. This is great. They they're they're going to Durham, and they're playing the Duke Blue Devils. Yeah. Because that's what you do. Because you know they—that's what you do when you're a middle yeah. of the road ODAC team. You yeah. go to Duke. Um, they opened at Davidson the last two years, interestingly yeah. enough. So this is not new to them, where they they go play a, a, a Division One opponent. Yeah. Um, but Duke. 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 Um, it's got to be a great experience for the kids. Yeah. Right? You yeah. Know, for you know. What a what a what an what an event that's going to be for them. Yeah, and what an, what an opportunity that's going to yeah. be. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. And Their and I stadium suspect is incredible. I suspect the the Dukies will be there in, in full force supporting them too. I mean, they get yeah. a nice crowd. Yeah. Um, so it'll be a great experience for them. But I I don't see how <laughs> how this helps them much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than maybe recruiting, like, hey, guess yeah. what? We're going to play Duke next yeah. year. Yeah. That yeah. that I agree. I do love seeing it. I, I get oh, yeah. it. It's no this is help awesome. whatsoever. This to me lines up with the whole. Hey, this is a you want to experience some great stuff on the field, and this is probably one of the greatest that you'll be able to experience, right? And I know last year or two years ago, I remember seeing Trine playing Notre Dame, and I'm sure right. there's others just geographically where they're located. And I'm always curious to see, quite honestly, like where. How do how does a Division three team stack up talent wise versus the Division one team? There there's total differences in towards the amount of training and you know this is a, a, Everett's first game and Duke I think might have three under their belt by then right, right? right. and so well, they've been you, training for since July right and so, you you, you got to assume though that this is an opportunity for Duke to to put their their freshmen, give them, you know, Correct. the, the seniors who didn't play a lot over the four years, Correct. you know, get them a run, get them, get them out on the field wearing the Jersey. Yeah. Um, so it's a good experience. It's a good experience for both teams. Correct. Um, but I don't, even then, I mean, I don't think yeah. it's going to be an ultra competitive it, game. Yeah. No, no, no. But, I, I just um, think, I just think Duke will have 
Duke will have to, any any of the back uh, the guys who didn't play at Duke, even if they're se- seniors and never got really a lot enough minutes. Those guys can go to any any top twenty Division three school and probably find a spot to play. Right, right. <laughs> you know, and, and, that's and, how and, good they are. Right, and and it, this is Everett. It's not. Yeah. It's not Washington in the league. It's not Washington. Right. right. You know, it's yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah. A middle of the road ODAC team. Yeah, 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 yeah. They so, might, but I mean, it it, might, it's going it to be might be a bunker game, right? Like they just might end up being. So, oh, I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. I hope they just go and just have fun with it. Right, like, right. You mean you don't want them to park the bus and say, "Okay, guys, we're going to yeah. try and get out of here with a yeah. one nothing win." No, you know, no, that's no. that's no, go play, yeah. go, go play, see yeah. what you got. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, I think it's a fun, it's a fun game. It, it, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can, if you can watch this game, but if you can, I would love to watch a, you know, yeah, yeah. this game. Yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah. Duke. Maybe Duke has it streaming. They're on TV. I think you can watch Duke games on TV. Anyhow, at least yeah. here. Um, so those are right. games. Those are holy smokes. Those are those are uh, nine pickums and, uh, yeah. and and one one. I want to say sure thing, but you never yeah. know, right? <laughs> yeah. You never know. You know yeah, pick the famous, score famous on that last one. Words. Though. Pick the score on that one, though. Right? Right? Is like, it, yeah, is it one nothing or is, is it, it or is yeah. it seven nothing? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, well, this is that's fantastic. Like uh, I mentioned to you before we 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 uh, started, like um, I, I've been really itching for this season to start just because I just found this summer soccer wise really unsatisfying, and in spite of Spain winning the Euros, which um, so I think this is just a great great way to way to way to start the season. It's you know I've I've been reading the boards and getting excited to see what's going to happen this year yeah. and then when i started digging into okay well who's actually playing this first week like you know yeah. is there anything interesting happening this early in the season yeah. and i saw some of these games and said oh my <laughs> okay all right game on season's yeah. kicking off it's you know it's about to get real yeah you know if you're well, hopkins it's about well, to get real you're real. going yeah, yeah, you're yeah. going to it's, washington yeah, yeah, it's getting yeah. real yeah. real quick yeah yeah and you know? you know it's interesting. I mean, to boot, and I just thought of this. And you're looking at these games, right? You know, last year your strength of schedule mattered a lot more than it's seemingly going to be this year with the 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 new way they're picking right right um, tournament teams. So so you don't so there's a lot of unknowns going into this season. A lot of yeah. unknowns. Yeah. Um, so it, it's it's going to be it, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. So I think there's, it's going to be really there's going to be nine ties this weekend. They're all going to tie, and, <laughs> and and nobody's going to know what it means for the for the for the yeah. for the rankings. And it's yeah, just going to yeah, be yeah. you know, yeah. I'm just going to throw <laughs> just throw a wrench in everything. Nine times, and Everett's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah yeah that'll totally blow the uh right the the, I, the, the pool out of the water have a 35 yard <laughs> banger in like the final <laughs> final minute to win it yeah. right <laughs> how awesome would that be that how would be awesome incredible would that be? oh that's great oh good stuff all right so i hope we'll get a lot of folks to participate so i'm going as i mentioned i am i'm gonna post this video along with a page with the games um, and a link to the form yep. that people can use to register and participate. Yes. And and then we'll do this weekly. Yep. Um, and I will have also, I will create another page that's gonna have the weekly leaderboard and then I'll do another one for the overall leaderboard awesome. just so that, and, and we'll keep it that way. And then we'll just, hopefully we can get a lot of folks to, to jump in because it is fun. It is great. Just yeah. talking about some of these crazy, crazy games. And I mean, and just real quick, I mean, it literally takes like, you know, five minutes to go through it. It's a Google, it's a Google yeah. form. So it's a link to a Google form. Uh, you pick, you check box next to the winner and then enter the score for each team. Yeah. Uh, if you get the game, if you get the game winner correct, you get five points. If you get the mm-hmm. score correct, you get an extra 10 points. So you yeah. can walk away at 15 yards. 150 points maximum you're yeah. getting. You all 10 games. So, 
all 10 scores. So that, points. that explains why I might've gotten one point a week for, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I didn't finish that bad last year. Last year, I think I was the yeah, middle yeah. of the pack. And then, and then just for, I called it, I think two years ago, I called it the, the simple coach rule where I started throwing <laughs> out one bad week. <laughs> Uh, because because you, you missed one week, you're like, oh, I missed it. I forgot to register. So I'm like, all right, you know what? That's a fair point. If, you know, if if people are are involved, or, you know, really involved, and they happen to miss one of the, I think it's eleven weeks total. It's a ten week, eleven weeks. You know, yeah. if they miss one week or they have a really crappy bad week, we throw that out. You know, just yeah. for the count. Yeah, yeah. I you should. I I was hoping you would be able to do the simple coach rule of getting rid of all of my weeks yeah, and then okay. just giving me a automatic point, right? Oop, just oop. being like honorary oop. number one. That's all you need. Yep. That's all I need. <laughs> we'll list you first in the standings every week. Yeah, How's that? Every, okay. yeah, yeah. Just so yeah. You, the benchmark. Uh, yeah. Simple That's coach right. has four points. Everybody else is yeah. 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 All right, Eric. This was fantastic. Awesome ball. Great bunch of games. It's going to be a rock'em, sock'em uh, season. So this is a great way to jump into it. And we'll be back. Maybe we, next one we talk next about week, the games, yeah. the crazy ones next week. And then we'll pick the next games. Yeah, see if you can get some Duke uh, average highlights. And then we'll, yeah. uh, we, can, we can break down some film on that game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, good. Thanks. See you soon. Awesome. See ya. All right.